Hills and Worcester are notoriously mm. bad, especially with new snow. But also bad today, live along the coast. Our Anna Myler's been watching the situation there. So, Anna, they're telling people to voluntarily evacuate along the coast before 10 a.m. for the folks who live along the water there. Explain to people why they're so concerned today. So, Kate, everyone who lives along the water out here, they're asking to evacuate by 10 o'clock this morning. So people who have not left yet have less than an hour to, to pack up and head out and ride out this storm somewhere else. Uh, you can tell that the wind is really starting to whip out here, and we're also dealing with some rain and sleet. The town administrator was just out here a little while ago. He was checking on the seawall out here as well as the tide, and you can see the waves are really starting to come and crash against this wall out here. There's the potential for moderate to major flooding out here and the town administrator said they do have emergency responders with special vehicles that can come get people if necessary but they really want people to listen to town officials and evacuate so that it doesn't get to that point the other problem out here is all of this ice that you see along the shore and the town administrator explains why take a listen this is going to be a, a coastal storm we're going to have very high winds with an astronomically high tide add to that the ice uh, that we're afraid is going to come up and actually act like shrapnel coming off the beach. So it's going to be a pretty wild situation and potentially a dangerous situation down here at the high tide later on this afternoon. We want people to stay away from here. Uh, this seems to be a spectator sport at times. People like to come down and look at the ocean. But again, when those waves start coming and hit that sea ice, they're going to send pieces of that ice flying, and we want people to stay out here as much as possible. So as you just heard him say, he said that this ice out here could act as shrapnel when we really get into the worst part of this storm. So that's something that you do not want to mess around with. Again, people should be along the water, should evacuate before 10 o'clock this morning. If you don't have somewhere to be or to go, the high school is open as an emergency shelter. They have 50 cots out right now, and they have more if, they need, if, they, if needed. We'll send it back to you, Chris and Kate, for now. All right, Anna Myler and Situate, thank you.